Hello, I'm David Chaston with 989, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week at Everything You Need to Know in 90 seconds to 9 o'clock, with news of more dairy developments where New Zealand seems to be on the back foot. But first, American industrial production ratcheted up in July. Right, that's according to data out from the Federal Reserve over the weekend. The growth in production was at the fastest pace in over a year, with a strong push from the car industry. Their latest reading of consumer confidence, however, was a bit more wobbly, although these surveys in the height of the US summer vacation season can be a little suspect. You may remember the $6 billion criminal settlements on the big banks for currency manipulation. That was back in May. Now the civil claims are starting and nine major banks have agreed to settle one claim for $2 billion. Much more is to follow. Eventually the size of these settlements could unsettle some of the world's largest financial institutions. And here's something Fonterra must keep an eye on and not get blindsided. Pepsi has launched its first dairy product, an oats-based dairy drink, with JD.com in China to tap the growing Chinese consumer preference for healthy drinks. It is Pepsi's first launch of a new product exclusively through e-commerce. Dairy marketing is transforming rapidly. And we have another dairy auction early on Wednesday morning this week, and this will likely set the tone for the rest of the week. In New York, the US Treasury 10-year yield benchmark has bounced back up quite a bit and starts the week at 2.2%. Our local swap rates have been pretty much range-bound over the last two weeks and will no doubt take cues from the higher US benchmarks set at the end of the Wall Street session. The oil price is weaker at $42 a barrel and Brent crude is now at $49 a barrel. And the gold price is also a touch lower, now at $1113 an ounce. Actually, in times of uncertainty, it's not gold that people seek out, but paper it seems. China, however, still wants the traditional yellow metal. The New Zealand dollar starts the week almost exactly the same point it started last week at 65.3 US cents, 88.8 Aussie cents and 58.9 Euro cents. The TWI is at 69.9. And China is talking up the idea that its newly adjusted yuan may now float much more freely and operate like an open currency. We are being advised to expect much more variability, more like our own currency. I'm David Chaston. That was 98.9 brought to you by interest.co.nz.